All right, let's see what we're working with today. Looks like we got an old Nero, Nero 2 mask. Set that thing aside, get rid of that. And what have we got here? A white G-Divers, all right. So we've got to take these two masks and make them into one. Should be fun. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now I've got two older ocean reef masks here. I've got a G-Diver series, which is no longer being made, but thankfully they are still serviceable. And then I've got an old Nera, Nera 2 mask here. And these Nera 2s are no longer serviceable. If you have one of these and it's time to get it serviced, then of course you're just going to get rid of it. Uh, there's not a service technician out there for ocean reef reef that's going to repair these and even ocean reefs not going to do anything with them and the g divers in all honesty it's kind of a discontinued model as well but you can still get parts for them there's a lot of brand new g divers that are still on the market they still offer parts for them and they're still great masks there's nothing wrong with them it's just that ocean reef has kind of upgraded over the years so this kind of this line has kind of went away but we're going to service it today. We're going to get it up and going for the customer. And we're actually going to be incorporating some of the parts of the Nera over to the G-Diver. So we're going to make a brand new custom G-Divers for this customer here. And I want to take you guys along for the ride because not only am I going to be servicing it today, I'm actually going to be upgrading it and adding new parts to it to make it a custom G-Divers. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. All right, so the first thing I've got to do, of course, is kind of inventory what I've got and make a decision on what I want to add. Um, I'm going to start here on the Nera mask first and just see what I can scrap out of here. Um, the visor, to my knowledge, is the exact same visor as far as size for the skirt and all that as what the Space Diver, the G-Diver series was. Um, so we should be able to take the skirt. We can use it as a spare. Uh, looks like we could possibly keep the band that goes around to hold the skirt. That can be a spare too. Our toggles here can definitely be a spare. Um, and even our straps. So the straps can be a spare as well. That way if he damages a strap on one, he can very easily replace it in the field. Uh, so we're going to salvage all that for him as well. I noticed there's a quick disconnect. We're going to keep that. Even though the G-Divers already has one, uh, we're going to utilize this on a standard second stage. So we can just screw this to a standard second stage. That way my customer can literally swap back and forth from a full face mask to a standard second stage very easily as well. So we'll salvage that off. Um, the rest of this is pretty much going to be pretty much useless to us. Uh, we may be able to keep the diaphragm. I'll have to break into it and see. Um, our adjustment knob here, we can keep the knob, but the rest of the internals I doubt we'll do anything with. Um, we'll keep the COM port um, post here just as a spare. We can keep it, and we can even keep the little O-ring, or di um, not diaphragm, but the little uh, spacer in there as well. It seals out the water, so we can keep it as well. So yeah, there's quite a bit on here, and I also notice here on the bottom, this has an adjustable exhaust port. And if you know much about the G-Divers or Space Series, anytime you go upside down, you cause a free flow. And the G-Divers being the uh, budget line series mask, they never had any type of adjustable uh, exhaust. So we're gonna be able to add that over here to that. So that's a cool uh, little upgrade that we'll do. The surface air valve here is a pretty neat surface air valve. Uh, we could by all means switch this over but there's really no need to because this one comes with an SAV, a surface air valve. So I may ask my customer which one he likes. Of course, he'll have this as a spare if he wants to, uh, but we can add that as well. But yeah, pretty much it looks like there's some things that we're going to swap over. Uh, he's going to have plenty of spare parts laying around if he needs it. And of course, we will get this guy serviced up uh, for him so that he knows it's good and safe to use. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on these two masks.
All right, now that we've got everything broke down from the G-Divers, I wanna do a quick comparison here just to see what other parts we might be able to salvage here. So the one that I'm really curious on, of course, is this diaphragm. And if we take a look at the diaphragm from the Nera mask and the G-Divers mask, we will notice that they're roughly the same size. Uh, neither one appears to be any bigger than the other one, but this one's a lot more raised up here in the center than what it is on the G-Divers. So I'm not quite certain that we're gonna be able to use this. If it's too high, then of course the purge itself, a little purge cover may push down on it as soon as it gets a little pressure. So I don't think we're gonna be able to use this specific diaphragm as a spare. And to be honest, these diaphragms are relatively inexpensive, so it's not a big deal if we can't use it. Um, but a couple other items that we might be able to use, the demand lever appears to be the same, so we'll definitely keep it. Um, and of course this little nut here, we can use it too with the little um, spacer washer there. So we can definitely use it as well. Uh, as far as everything else goes, I think uh, I think we'll call it a day for the Nera. But I'm gonna get this serviced up. Got my ser little service kit here. Get it cleaned up, get it serviced, put it back together. And then of course, we're gonna add in all the uh, new items that we're gonna put on it to make it a custom mask. And then of course, uh, get it back to our customer. So with that being said, another quick time lapse. Let's get this thing serviced and put back together. All right guys, so as you can see, I've kind of got the unit put back together. This is just the second stage. I've got my inline adjustment tool. I'm actually gonna hook this up to our Magna Helic, check the cracking pressure, make sure everything's good on that before we reassemble the mask itself. Um, and we wanna do this course, obviously, before we put everything back in the mask. And with Ocean Reef products, you actually adjust them before you reassemble the mask. So the First thing I noticed, absolutely no leaks. So we probably did a pretty good adjustment putting it back together. Just make sure this guy breathes real quick. <laughs> breathes, breathes phenomenal. I'm dial it back just a pinch here. And I'm gonna hook up the Magna Helic and I'm gonna watch the gauge here and just make sure that everything is where it should be. Thing breathes like a champ. It's right exactly where it needs to be. Uh, so I think we're gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the test chamber here, go ahead and get it reassembled in the mask and then uh, show you the final product. Alright guys, so there you go. We was able to take two different masks, put them together into a custom built mask here.
Primarily the biggest change that we made on this one is we took the old exhaust port off, we put the new adjustable exhaust port on, um, and I really think that's going to help the customer out, especially with the G-Diver series or the Space series. Anytime you went inverted, these older exhaust ports, they would uh, cause a free flow to where with the adjustable you could create a little bit of back pressure back pressure there and of course it would stop that free flow but uh let's put this thing on just to make sure it works and i know that we've got it adjusted right but we still want to make sure it breathes right now that we've got it inside the mask so let me get this thing adjusted here for me get a little bit of air going to it and we will try it Seems to be working just fine. I think the customer is going to be happy with it. I am going to try to talk them into an extender frame because I know they're going to be wanting to mount cameras and flashlights and things like that to it again. So, yeah, we'll see if we can get them talked into an extender frame and uh, kind of go from there. But, guys, like I said, if you've got an older Nera mask, if you're not familiar with the Nera mask are, it says Nera on them. They're no longer serviceable. We're, you're not going to be able to find a technician anywhere that's going to be able to service those. There's no more parts for them. Uh, even the G-Divers is a discontinued model. Yes, they still have parts for them. And let me kind of explain really quick why that's the case. The G-Diver series, the Space series, the Predator, and even the Iron Mask all took the same parts kits. So the same parts kits work for all those masks. Well, even though the Space and the G-Diver series are discontinued units, the iron mask is still in production and since they take the same parts kits there's going to be parts kits for quite a while for the g-diver series so if you need to service your g-divers or your space or your predator no worries out there your technicians can still service them for them if they can't send them to me and i'll service them as a matter of fact we do custom built masks from ocean reef you send us your mask we'll custom build it to whatever you want it to be Shoot me an email down at brian at lakehickoryscuba.com um, and let me know what type of mask you would like to have if you've already got one and we'll work out a deal where I can build you a custom mask as well. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I've got a ton of spare parts here that are still good parts that come off the near that will fit on the G-Divers and of course we're going to get those back to the customer as well. But that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked it guys, give me a big thumbs up. Let me do it in the comment section below. Do you use the G-Divers? And let me know what customizations you have done to yours as well. But that's going to do it for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.